Good morning. Welcome to Thursday Mornings, Early Morning Intuitive Guidance. I'm Dr. Bonnie Nussbaum, America's kick-ass coach and psychologist, here with some wisdom to start your day. And we've got something kind of fun today. Um, I pulled a card from that little deck that I only have a partial deck of, and it led to triggering off my thoughts about a book I'm reading. Excuse me. And in the book, good morning, Diane, there's a little story that I want to read to you because I think it fits with the card. So the card is Remember Who You Are. Remember Who You Are. And on the bottom it says, Archangel Michael, you are a powerful, loving, and creative child of God. You are very loved. Good morning, Kay. And then the book that it triggered the thoughts about is Infinite Possibilities, The Art of Living Your Dreams by Mike Dooley. And this is a 10th anniversary version. <clears throat> but the prologue is like a little story. And it's several pages long. But I want to read it to you because I think it sets things into perspective. An Adventurer's Guide to the Jungles of Time and Space. Not long ago, in the nether reaches of Ad Infinitum, there formed a council of fearless explorers, adventurers much like you, who had become bored with perfection, infinity, and unending bliss. Whatever it was they wanted, they got. However they wanted to change, they did. And whatever they wanted to be, they became. Their existence had become so same old, same old that they hardly felt like the great adventurers they were. It wasn't enough, they agreed. Something had to be done. So, being who they were, they decided to invent an entirely new dimension for their reality. Well, new dimensions, even for these adventurers, don't get invented very often, so you can imagine their excitement as they began to explore the vast new possibilities that suddenly lay before them. And this dimension was especially exciting because it made possible the previously unthinkable ability of being in just one place without ever without being everywhere else at once. <clears throat> you see, back then, in the nether reaches of Ad Infinitum, there was only the here and now. Nothing else existed. These poor explorers never had anywhere to go because they were already everywhere. What their new dimension did was enable them to dim their awareness of everywhere else enough to focus on being in a single somewhere at a time. And now that they could create somewheres, they found they could each devise secret patterns among their somewheres to play games and conduct experiments. In fact, they did this so often that they began referring to this new dimension as the Secret Pattern Adventure for Creative Enlightenment, or SPACE for short. Space became the new frontier with lots of possibilities for exploration, fun, and games. And perhaps the most remarkable phenomenon about space was the startling discovery that it could be filled with their thoughts. Whenever their thoughts were focused and concentrated within their space, they became dense and appeared solid. They discovered that they could think big or small, red or blue, hard or soft, whatever they imagined, and their thoughts would then become the same thing in space. These adventurers had discovered that their thoughts could be projected into this space of theirs where they would then suddenly appear as objects, and they quickly came to realize that they could manifest any thought that existed into reality, so in no time at all, mostly because time had not yet been invented, matter began to fill their space. Matter, of course, was the acronym for manifest any thought that existed into reality. These adventurers, as you can tell, loved acronyms. Creativity soared as they dabbled, first creating stars and planets and then mountains and oceans. Everything they dreamed of came to life in an explosion of light, color, and sound that stretched their imagination to the very edges of their space. It was all incredibly exciting, except deep down inside, they knew that something was missing. 
As spectacular as their new worlds were, they themselves, the creators of everything, remained on the outside looking in. The adventurers began to ponder how they could become part of the mysterious, enchanting, material worlds they had created. And in their wondering, they asked, if our matter is simply occupied space, and deep down we know that we're really still everywhere else at once, hmm, could we possibly exist in the very same space that holds our matter? Well, of course they could. And as they thought about it, they did it, thinking up residence inside their matter, just as if it were a somewhere by dimming their awareness of everything else. Now to make things even more interesting, right about then, a new game called Hide and Seek was invented. And as could be predicted, the adventurers scurried about and hid themselves inside their creations where they would not likely be found. They hid under matter animated in the now, because now was still all there was, since time had not yet been invented, and hence referred to themselves as being human when they were in hiding. It was a great idea, this hiding under matter, so great, in fact, that no one was ever found. So despite their joy in having found a new game to play, they were no longer aware of each other's discoveries. Big problem. This prompted a call to go out for the need to trace one another in material existence. Thus, time was finally born. The games resumed, reunions were planned, and the fun really began. That is, until everyone had pretty much been there, done that. Another idea was needed, and given the adventurer's track record, it didn't take them long to come up with one. What if, they thought, we all venture out together, in human form, into the same space, at the same exact time? Whoa! This idea was so monumental, so profound, so colossal, that it sent a big bang booming through all creation, and it has since been compared to the invention of light itself. Well, by now it should be obvious that these adventurers weren't your normal, everyday kind of adventurers. They were creative adventurers on a mission, to have as much fun as could possibly be imagined. And to that end, as you well know, they've been wildly successful, though they have met up with a few wrinkles that are still being ironed out. For instance, once time was invented, they spent so much of it playing as a creation among their creations that they began to lose themselves. For example, during their unending games of hide and seek, they stayed human for so long, not wanting to be found, that they actually began to forget that they were also everywhere else at once. Many more began to forget that they were even adventurers, and as time marched on, they fell into a deeper and deeper trance. In fact, so far did they fall that they began to feel trapped within their bodies and helpless among their creations. No longer did they notice that they themselves were the ones crafting the objects and events of their lives with their thoughts. Though this didn't change, instead they saw these things as something to contend with. <clears throat> Unfortunately, a direct result of this naivete led to their first taste of F-E-A-R, which was felt whenever they failed to experience the actual reality before them. A scary thing, they soon found out. No fun at all. And worse, a whole horde of emotions sprang to life with their every misunderstanding. <clears throat> Excuse me. Never in any reality have such lofty beings plunged into such despair. Terror, anger, sadness, and guilt were rampant. It was a travesty through and through until, little by little, there began to be a great healing. Not from on high or any other such place, though some still say it was a mystically incited reality adjustment concealed by loving entities, it was a healing that was transpired from within, life ministering to life itself, perhaps a miracle either way. It turns out that the adventurers were learning from their emotions. For example, if fear stems from the failure to experience the actual reality before you, then at least it serves as an unmistakable warning to the one doing the fearing that his or her thinking has strayed from the truth. 
And there was even more good news about these emotions. It turned out they were also warm and fuzzy, funny and silly, and even wild and crazy. And it was their passage through all these emotions, happy and sad, that brought the illustrious ones, as they had come to be called, their greatest achievement, an inner pleasure experienced by accepting all creation as it exists, or inner peace. Mastered by so few, as it requires a deep understanding of the perfection that exists within everything, every moment, every place, and in every one, no matter what. By now, in the present day, all forms of awareness from everywhere ever thought of have heard about space, time, and the brilliant adventurers who created it all. And those who drop by for a look at this little corner of creation are so astounded by what they find that they are changed forever. It's not just the splendor of the planets, nor the raging life that thrives upon them, nor even the whole bold and outrageous thoughts that continue to perpetuate them, all that astound visitors. Observers are left speechless and downright humbled by the few who have returned from the adventure, those adventurers who have actually found themselves. These are the illustrious ones whose glowing radiance and divine illumination reflect an understanding rooted in the unshakable knowledge that all things and events are born of thought, that in time and space it's all good, and that everything everywhere always is one. Only by losing themselves and serving their illusions could these adventurers then be driven emotionally by their burning desires to reclaim and know the depths of their own divinity. By truly understanding their reality, they've become the inspiration and the ideal for all to follow. Having just shared all that, it's a bit amazing to us that more have not joined the ranks of the illustrious ones. Certainly to teach, certainly to each his or her own, it's just that they're all still so caught up in this most awesome adventure of theirs that it seems they really couldn't care less about everywhere else. Perhaps you understand them better. Still, to us at least, it seems a shame that such inexhaustible energy and creative genius is being so thoroughly neglected. If you could, or if they could, and we assure you they can, just for an instance, glimpse their greater reality and see themselves as the omniscient, unlimited, fun-loving gladiators they've always been, it would so radically change everything. Not that they should return, heavens no, we just think they may have a better time, shall we say, if reminded that they themselves are creators. Don't you think? By the way, we've blown the lid off your little charade. Found you. Now let's get the party started. How's that for a creation story? So, the moral of that story that I want you to take with you is that we as humans have lost sight of the truth. We've lost sight of the main truth that we are the creators of all of this. As within, so without. If we don't like what we're seeing without, we need to change it within. We need to change what we believe. If we buy into we are helpless, we're creating a certain reality. If we buy into we are these adventurers, we are the ones who hold the key, the secret to changing what we experience in our world, things begin to change. The more of us who remember the creation of this story and go back to the beginning where we were powerful beyond measure, creation, creators of everything that is, we are one with all of creation then things begin to change. We hit that tipping point where more of us are, again, aware of the divine beginnings. So how do you want to play this story? Are you stuck in the storyline of you are a victim, things happen to you, not for you, um, you can't control anything, as opposed to I'm the producer. I'm the actor in this film. I'm the producer of this film. 
I'm the maker of the film itself. I'm, I'm all of it. You're all of it. We're all one. Okay. So what I'd like you to think about is some aspect of this story that grabbed you. All the acronyms are kind of fun. Time, matter, human, etc., etc. Miracle. That was a good one. Um, and just think about it for the day. What if we're just pretending to act in this ongoing drama called life and actually there's much a much bigger screen stage whatever available to us when we just remember so hopefully that was kind of like your philosophy 101 class that blew the the lid off your mind when the professor said this wall isn't here what makes you think this wall is here you perceive it here so it's here and you're going wait a minute it's hard it's here I feel it this is expanding your thought process. So just think about it. If questions come up, throw them in the feed. Let's get some discussion going. Have an awesome day. We'll see you again tomorrow. Remember, you are capable of far more than you think you are. And here comes TJ. Bye-bye. <laughs>